My name is Eric Cobalt and I am the CEO of BNC Lighting. My background in lighting electronics stems from 17 years experience with white LEDs and color LEDs, making anything from under cabinet fixtures, camping, lanterns, outdoor lights. My education and training in this field started, as I mentioned, 17 years ago from researching the amount of patents on white LEDs to being able to understand which ones we can actually put into the market for a quality product to be able to be brought without any infringement on anyone else's patents working with the chief scientist at a major university who had actually was on one of the very first patents from 1967 with LEDs, spending every week working with him, understanding how they work, what they do, to spending time with Nietzsche, Cree, LumaLEDs, and other companies at their facilities, understanding how they're made, how the light works, how it affects everything from the way a clothing looks to the way food looks on a plate as well as the health of individuals. At BNC Lighting, we provide a true turnkey operation. We do everything from mechanical and electrical engineering to industrial designer that can provide your, your idea into a 3D model and rendering, allowing us to be able to look at what it is that you would be looking for, creating a full bill of materials, everything to the production, the final T1 samples, off-tool samples, and then into production, packaging, and then finally distribution to where you need it, whether it be in the United States or anywhere else in the world. My mentor has always been a gentleman named David Bear. I've listened to him. He helped me start my first company, establishing how to talk to employees, how to treat employees, how to treat customers, and to be able to speak to any of them. Understanding their needs, helps you understand what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. And he worked with me side by side from the time I was 14 until the day he passed. My landscaping started with uh, Mr. David Bear and I was doing things for him, whether it started out as just simple mowing, progressed into landscaping design, into full-blown landscaping for a neighborhoods and additions, their frontages and things of that nature, what plants work well to the actual drawings being able to be provided for the architects and the people developing the, the community. Proudest experience with the career, my career has to be the first product I ever really created and brought to market. You spend a year working on something and management likes it and you like it of course or you wouldn't be doing it. And then seeing a customer such as Walmart or somebody like that picking it up and, and bringing it into their stores and you don't really think much about it and then you go to the store and you're there with your kids and your wife and they're like, look, dad, that's what you made, that's yours. You know, it's that little prideful moment right then and the reality that, wow, that's really here. At BNC Lighting, we keep our knowledge up to date by attending seminars, uh, heading to our suppliers such as the LED suppliers, our power suppliers, as well as our driver suppliers, knowing what they're doing and understanding what they're moving forward with, how they're able to advance their technology into the field that we're working with, has been able to keep us at the forefront of what we're doing and helping our customers understand what's coming down the pike and what's going to be available, to also having them create some of their own imagination and us being able to take it to our suppliers such as Nietzsche, Bridge Lux, or Cree, and helping that, having them help us design around what our customer could potentially do. I feel you have to live your life treating everybody the way you would want to be treated. Um, I've learned the hard way that you really got to do that. And when you do that, good things come to you. God's always taken care of me and blessed me. And I have found the nicer you are to people, the more understanding and the more you listen to people, the better that your relationship becomes with not only them, but the rest of your life. And in that, it starts out at our church and it's always been that way. And it's been a very good model for us to continue down. We feel if we're open and honest with our customers, they're gonna be open and honest with us. If we can't do something for them, we simply tell them we can't do that. We help them find somebody, but at the same time, they've always managed to come back to us and say, hey, you did this for us, can you help us with this? You may not have done that, but can you do this? So it's been a very good learning model and a way to live our life and our business and our lives. The one experience I've had that's taught me the most has to be 
During COVID, me and my business partner had to make a decision of what we were going to do for the future of the company. And it ended up being that we were gonna spend basically all of our savings in purchasing what we thought, hoped would be, you know, the future for us during what could potentially be a pandemic, whether it would be for six months or a year, we had to decide to make that risk. And basically that risk was putting us in a major situation where we may not have anything. Um, for the first six to 10 months, it was a very stressful time. All of those funds that we put to purchasing raw materials and supplies to be able to help carry us through, we didn't see any of the, the fruits of it. Um, however, shortly after that, it became very relevant to us that we were the only ones that had anything. And it, it went from being a very scary situation to one of those whew, moments where we were able to be shipping products in our industries that most other people were not able to do, which helped us with our customers. It helped our customers be able to be the ones at the forefront, knowing that their customers could rely on them. So it was extremely scary <laughs> thinking we just totally made a big mistake. But in reality, we ended up learning from it and made it the right, made the right decision. And we've been successful ever since. I did witness the Oklahoma City bombing. Um, I was at my office at the time that it happened uh, for another company at the time. Um, I had just stood up to tell a gentleman goodbye. He was leaving my office and as we stood up, the bomb had exploded. And although we were about nine, 10 miles north of there, the concussion knocked us both down. The doors to my office were vibrating in and out. Um, his, he was an Oklahoma City police officer at the time and his radio started going nuts. I ended up being, our company ended up being one of the main contributors to providing communications to the families, the first responders, and people of that nature. And unfortunately, we were the people doing that. We also were the people that were seeing family members being told that their ch child is never coming home. Their child is, is past. And during that time found out not only was that hard seeing that and having to express that to those people and be there for the chaplains that were expressing that to them, but several of the last people that were pulled out of the building were people that I had gone to high school with and very good friends that just were now gone. So it was a very, a very taxing time, a very sombering moment.